What's up guys, this is Ben or Faded Arts and before I get into the main uh, part of this video which is a tutorial I'd just like to tell you about a new channel I found on YouTube called Young Hollywood so um, they got all the new music, movies, TV, fashion, sports all that kind of stuff all uploaded on their channel so go ch there, click the link on the screen and tell them I sent you and here's a quick clip from their channel <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching that guys. Um, now moving on to the main part of the tutorial. It's more of a, um, kind of like a walkthrough of a plugin that I uh, recently found. And um, so I'm going to be showing you how to create this kind of effect using Pixel Bender, the plugin is. Um, there's this, which is called Oil Paint, and there's several others. I'm just going to be going through them and how to use them in this tutorial. So, um, the link to the plugin will be in the description. It's free from Adobe Labs it's called Pixel uh, Bender. So just go download that, pause the video, and come back. So once you have done that, um, so I'm just going to delete this layer. So this is just a thing I've just been messing about with. Um, it's probably not the best example to use on, but um, I've got nothing better to really. So I'm just going to duplicate this group and merge it. So I have a, a flat layer. So once you've got your chosen layer, simply go up to filter. Um, once downloading it, it will ask you to restart um, Photoshop. So once you've done that, the Pixel Bender should be here under your filters section. And go to Pixel Bender Gallery. Um, so now once you're here, it will look like this. Wait a sec. If I can um, do something quickly. Don't know if this will work. There we go. Um, so uh, it will look like this, and there's several options here. I'm just going to go through my favourite. Obviously, when you download it, you can mess about with them yourself. But the effect you saw at the start was this oil paint one. So um, it creates this, yeah, as it says, a kind of oil paint look. I think it looks really good. Um, so this stylization, um, I think it looks really good turned up because it um, you know it kind of works with the whole image it curves the uh, you know what you're seeing and I think it just looks really cool so changing the cleanness again if you have these both high up the image will look um, not really kind of flat but I don't know it looks really smooth I think it looks really good so cleanliness just changes um, kind of the thickness almost of the of the oil paint uh, effect and colorization, as it says, lowers the saturation. You can make it black and white, but that just looks kind of weird like that. Or you can make it really saturated. So I just leave it as it is, really. Now that's good. So yeah, that's pretty much the um, oil paint um, effects on this plugin, Pixel Bender. So uh, once once you finish using um, choosing your effect, you simply hit OK. And as you can see, it makes this really cool effect. So um, I'm just going to undo that and show you some of the others in the Pixel Bender Gallery. Oil Paint is probably my personal favourite. There's also Kaleidoscope, which I haven't really messed with really. Cause I just saw it and didn't really um, understand it too well. Obviously, I know what a Kaleidoscope is, but I mean, if any of you guys can work that out. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, that's a bit weird that one. Hole. Um, it's, it's kind of a weird, kind of, yeah, it's pretty weird this one. But as it says, it's just a kind of puts a hole in the middle of your image. It can look, it can look cool. It's like, um, I guess it would be good for some photography stuff. Because I mean, you can have like something in the middle of that. You know, what kind of looks like it's walked around it. But it is quite a cool effect. Um, there's fisheye, all you photographers know what fisheye is, and um, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much self-explanatory. So, um, and there's this one called converg convergence. So, 
to me it looks like it gives it a 3D effect. I don't actually have 3D glasses on me. But um I, I honestly that might I might be completely wrong, but you know it's got the blue and the red thing which 3D does. I'm, I don't know too much about it. If you do, uh, post in the comments if I'm completely wrong. But it's just another effect. Um there's twelve you can as you pretty much see what it does. Which can look cool. Oh, I'm just going for a few here. See, some are kind of really weird. But um, yeah, once you've got it, you can mess around with it. You know, all you want. And um, yeah, I do think it's a really, really cool plugin. I'd like to give a shout out to Ninja Works who actually um, told me about this plugin. So, link to his channel will be in the description, along with the uh, link to download this. Um, filter gallery but um yeah other than that guys i think that's about it don't forget to comment rate and subscribe i'm gonna try and get um another speed art up soon or maybe a progression i probably won't do it of this as you've all seen it now but um yeah i'll try and get a speed out because i want to try and stay a bit more active and i always say that i never do but i'm gonna try i'll try my best but anyway as i said thanks for watching See you all later.